Hello students, I will discuss a few problems how to design UJT sweep circuit and for doing that so there are few formulas to be remembered so let's go through the formulas the very first one is the errors sweep speed error equals to Vs by V ET equals to TS by 2RC ED equals to TS by 8RC followed by the uh, relationship between the three errors ES equals to 2ET and 8ED and the sweep time equals to RC natural log of VYY minus VB by VYY minus VP the peak voltage which is the minimum voltage which is required to turn on the UJT so V gamma plus eta VBB the sweep amplitude Vs equals to Vp minus Vb so we are about to design the circuit so shown here by observing the characteristics of this let's go to the problem see here are the specifications of UJT given so they are given like eta equal to 0 0.6 the value voltage Vb equals to 2 volts and the RBB 5 kilo ohms IB valley current is 1.5 milliamps, IP peak current is 8 microamps, and VBB equals to 18 volts. So, and we are asked to calculate the component values of UJT sweep circuit to generate an output sweep frequency of 10 kilohertz with the sweep amplitude of 12 volts. Let us see how to solve this. So, what circuit we are about to design is the circuit shown here. The circuit to be designed is as shown in figure we are about to design this circuit for that. so given vbb equals to 18 volts let us take the same maximum value for vyy also so vbb equals to vyy equals to 18 volts now coming to the peak voltage vp so vp equals to the sweep amplitude plus value voltage it is the summation of vs plus vb as it as the data is already given vb is 2 volts vb is 2 volts and the sweep amplitude is 12 volts the total peak voltage is 12 plus 2 14 volts now the sweep time ts equals to rc natural log of vyy minus vb by vyy minus VP as we have already discussed this formula and from this so VYY is 18 volts and VB 12 volts VP equals to 14 volts substituting all these values in this equation will be RC natural log of 18 minus 2 by 18 minus 14 and it results in so RC natural log of 16 by 4 which is 4 and 1.386 RC so in this we don't know the values of RC yet so to find the value of this so let us go for calculation of R how to calculate this value capital R which is connected from VYY here so for calculating this we consider the maximum value R max is equals to so VBB the maximum the supply, the supply voltage VBB minus VP by IP this is the standard formula to be remembered to find the value of R we have to calculate R max and R minimum in finding R max we will consider a peak voltage and peak current while finding the R minimum we will consider valley voltage and valley current in, in the similar formula so VBB data is already given in the question so VBB is 18 volts so 18 minus 14 by IP is 8 microamps so it gives you 0 0.5 mega ohms is the maximum value of R and let's go for find let's find a minimum value of R what it could be so R minimum equals to VBB minus VB by IB it goes 18 minus 2 by 1.5 milliamps so it goes for 10.666 kilo ohms so with this we get a range of values in which the R value could be so it might be in between 10 kilo ohms to 0 0.5 mega ohms so let us take a value in between 
let r equals to 100 kilo ohms so we have identified the value of r as 100 kilo ohms now so in the question it was also given the sweep frequency of 10 kilohertz so given sweep frequency f equals to 10 kilohertz from this 1 by t equals to t equals to 1 by f equals so it is a 100 microseconds the total time period of the sweep signal means in where this total time period is the summation of a sweep time as well plus retrace time or return time or flyback time t equals to ts plus tr where the retrace time tr should be very much less than actual sweep time ts the sweep time period should be more and this one should be quite small so let tr equals to 5 microseconds now ts equals to t minus tr using that we can get a total sweep time sweep time ts equals to 95 microseconds so the total time period of capital t is 100 microseconds and in that we are considering uh, the return time as a quite small compared to ts so we are taking as an approximation of 5 microseconds and the left uh, 95 microseconds will be the sweep time time period now substituting these values in ts equals to 1.386 rc so from this c equals to ts by 1.386 r so, and substituting the r we have, we have calculated r equals to 100 kilo ohms and ts equals to 95 microseconds and we will get a value for a capacitor c equals to 0 0.685 nanofarads and coming to the return time tr equals to rb1 into c we need to find the values of rb1 as well as rb2 resistors and we already know that the resistance rb1 is much small compared to rb2 it should be so rb1 from this tr equals to rb1 into c rb1 equals to tr by c which gives us 7.299 kilo ohms but actually it should be very less why because more current flows through rb1 so so since it has calculated at 7.299 kilo ohms but rb1 should be of order of few tens of ohms therefore so we'll choose rb1 as a let 50 ohms and rb2 should be more than rb1 so it must be in an order of several hundreds of ohms therefore we are choosing a value as approximation of rb2 equals to 250 ohms so we can so this assumption can be made if the sufficient data is not given so rb1 should be much small than rb2 so with this the component values what we have calculated for the sweep circuit are rb2 equal to 250 ohms rb1 equals to 50 ohms r equals to 100 kilo ohms and capital c equal to 0 0.685 nanofarad so using these components we designed this ujt sweep circuit in the similar fashion there are quite a few examples available in the textbooks so i request you to go through the solved problems and if you find any difficulty you please raise a question and we will discuss it and solve the problems thank you